on the side of the road. And you can look up into the valley up to about right here where we're at. want to come around the corner up here upstream. As I come around the corner, I think this may look a little familiar to you guys, though. First movie, the helicopter flies up the valley, lands at Jurassic Falls, so that's the big waterfall coming up here in front of us. And the true name of Jurassic Falls is Montevideo Puna. First, we'll always know it as Jurassic Falls. Now, Benny, you got an extra waterfall here on the left, and there's several here on the right. So we've had some rain in the last two hours. Otherwise, we don't keep these. And so you can see they just come and go. It's so perfect timing on your flight. I'm going to make some turns, bring Jurassic Falls on both sides. Let get to check these out though, they're beautiful this morning. And if you guys spot any Velociraptors, give me a heads up, yeah. <laughs> it's been pretty pesky here in Kauai. You guys have some of those back in Virginia too, yeah. Alright. <laughs> Velociraptors, we all clear? Yeah. <laughs> all clear. As we make our turn, take a moment and look around, guys. You don't see anything at all developed back here. And again, this is all private property owned by those two Robinson brothers. And one of the real blessings, in my opinion, is they've never developed any of this land. To have had this property for over 150 years, you can imagine what could have been done with this land. So I think we owe these uh, guys quite a bit. Kauai would not be the same without it. Right now, there's a big push to keep this island uh, as, as uh, you know, as primitive as it can be. Uh, at the moment, only uh, 76, 78,000 local residents live here in Kauai. We all live on 5% of the land, and that includes the hotels and the resorts as well. So, 95% of Kauai is still wide open, and it puts it at a, at a pretty unique position to try to stay the way it is. I, I really hope it stays this way because it's pretty special the way it is. I love to hike and backpack. One of the reasons I love it here, year-round hiking. And so it's, I uh, would love to spend time back here. Most likely it'll never happen unless you personally know the Robinsons. They don't really allow you to come back here. And I think that's just a liability reason. I've never heard anything bad about the family. We'll get a little few bumps as we cross this ridge and then it'll calm down again, guys. Don't let those surprise you. but. As bad as I would love to see it by foot, I always feel very blessed to fly over it. You know, seventy percent of Kauai we can only see by flying over, and uh, this is just fifteen percent of it. And I think it would surprise you. It completely shocks me how many people I meet that have lived on this island their whole life. They never come in and do a flight. They never see more than you know thirty percent in their whole lifetime. It's always cool when they do, though. They tend to be in tears by, you know, by the time we get here, all the places they've heard about their whole life, never seen. Now, this is Ola Kelly Canyon. Still part of the Robinson family. Pretty unique this morning. We've got a lot of good weather, and so you look up to your right, you see some more clouds, though, and usually you don't see the back of this valley, but notice how lush and green it is back that way. 
Look at this uh, canyon wall right here in front of us. Notice how it goes from really lush and green to the right, and the farther to the left you get less and less vegetation. So most of our weather comes from the right to the left. As it passes over the island, it loses all its precipitation. The center of the island is one of the wettest places on Earth. It gets about 450 inches of rain. 12 miles away on the south shore, it gets less than 30 inches of rain. It's pretty amazing you could have that big of a difference, but when we come on the north shore, you'll see a lot of lush greenery where you know, they get a lot more rain. And then with the good visibility today, you can see an island off the coast in front of us. That's the island of Ni'i'au, which is 17 miles off the coast of Kauai. Guess who owns it? Same two guys. A lot of similarities to the Grand Canyon. Yeah, it's very similar, yeah. That island is the first piece of land ever purchased by the family, the great-great-grandmother Elizabeth St. Clair, originally from Scotland. She bought that island from King Kamehameha IV, who ruled that island this one back in 1864 for a whopping $10,000. <laughs> in 1864, that was 20 pounds of gold. And then she bought the rest of the land here in Kauai from his son. A total of 91 to 92,000 acres all together. And then this is their little dirt road right up here. This is the property line. So everything behind us belongs to the Robins. Everything else will be state owned public land. And so you'll see the two brothers. Uh, they grew up here in an old Ford pickup truck working on the fence out here. And so they seem to be really down to earth. And again, I think we owe this family quite a bit. I don't think Hawaii would be the island it is today without those guys preserving that property. Alright, now welcome to your Grand Canyon of the South Pacific, Waimea Canyon. What about lava on the Big Island? Did you guys get a chance to see some lava on the Big Island? Yeah, we got to see some. Okay, yeah. A couple things that, you know, this canyon's gorgeous the way it is, but a couple things that with you guys seeing the lava down on the Big Island, uh, you know, all of our islands come from the same source, right? So all the islands come from the same hot spot in the Pacific Plate and as it rotates create shield volcanoes. Shield volcanoes build layers. They're not like Mount St. Helens. They don't have that explosive capability. Half the island's going to disappear, but instead they build the layers. Kauai's our oldest island, five and a half million years old, and then the Big Island's our youngest, half a million years old. Obviously the Big Island's still growing, still being born. Uh, the tallest point on this island is 5,243 feet. And what's amazing is the geologists will tell us that Kauai was somewhere between nine and 10,000 feet at one time. So that's a lot of erosion that's happened, but because of that, as we come through this canyon, you'll see each one of these lines on the canyon wall. Each one of those guys represent a different layer of lava as the island of Kauai was being born. And after five and a half million years of erosion, it's kind of washed away, giving us a glimpse how the island was born. Now compare that to what you saw down on the big island right now, those are those layers being formed right now as we speak. Same source, but five and a half million years difference. That's crazy amazing to me when I think about that. So you're going to see it on the right hand side first. I'll bring it right back around for Mr. Benny and John. And so you're going to see a waterfall. It's called Waipo'o Falls. It's 800 feet tall. It's beautiful this morning. And so it's twice as tall as Jurassic Falls. If you ever get the chance to drive up here, this is the one you can see from the road. But it's way off in the distance. I'll give you a much better view this morning. hikes. One of my favorite hiking trails is right here above that cliff. So it's called Canyon Trail. I see hikers up early in the morning usually.